Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation, welcome to another video of mine. Today I thought I'd discuss the recent news about a possible new 767 or a re engine 767. So the original Boeing 767 was a hit with many airlines, especially those in America, with Delta, United and American all having the aircraft delivered. Boeing created multiple variants of the 767 over the years, including the 767-2C, 767-200ER, 767-300, the most popular 767-300ER, 767-300F, and 767-400ER. They also created military and government versions like the KC-767 Tanker Transport, KC-767 Advanced Tanker, and the E-767. Despite all these variants, there were still some that never made it to the market for various reasons, like the 767-400ERZ, which was a long-range version of the larger 767 models. This was set to be introduced in 2000, and Kenya Airways ordered three of the 767-400ERZs to supplement its 767 fleet. But quickly after, in 2001, Boeing cancelled the type's development and switched the order to the 777-200ER. Throughout its time, Boeing had 1,024 orders, with its largest customers being Delta with 117, FedEx with 108, and All Nippon Airways with 96. United also closely followed with 80 plus orders. At this stage, some of the remaining deliveries for the 767 are for FedEx, as they placed a firm order for 50 Boeing 767 freighters, which are set to be delivered from 2018 to 2023. To summarise, the most popular version of the original 767 was the Boeing 767-300ER with over 500 orders alone, followed by the 767-300F with around 190, and then the 767-200. Now we get on to the main question, that being, should Boeing release a 767X or simply re-engine the 767 so more orders can be placed by airlines like Delta, United, American and many more? In my eyes the answer is no, but let's dive into why. My first point is the 7878 and the new A321neo. The largest 767 is about the size of a 787, give or take. As we're starting to see, the market is shifting from the 7878 towards the Dash 9 variant, with orders for the latter having stalled a bit which probably shows a re-engine of the any 767, unless it was both a re-engine and an increase in size, probably isn't needed at this stage. With the introduction also of the new Airbus A330neo, Boeing will have increased difficulty at trying to persuade airlines to purchase the new 767 again. Another problem stopping the 767 and also the 757 from being re-engined or being completely re-released as a brand new aircraft is the Rumen 797 set to take the mid-range body aircraft world by storm. It's clear Boeing are putting a lot of resources into perfecting this particular aircraft rather than the re-release of its 767 or 757. Again, and while I'd love to see another 767 or 757 flying, it just doesn't seem possible at this stage. The President and Chairman and Chief Executive of the Boeing Company said regarding the 767, if you look at the current market outlook that I mentioned earlier, sort of, in that small wide body class, if you will, about 5,000 airplane market size out there is part of our current market outlook, so it's a substantial marketplace. The 767 is well positioned and for some customers it's a great value proposition. And while that seems it will be good in the market, I still don't think they're going to put their time and effort into a re-engine of that. And if they were going to, I think we would have seen it maybe five years ago at the exact same time as the 787. Another issue is the 767 could take away from the prized new Boeing 777X and other future aircraft made by Boeing. The main issue is this is that Boeing are definitely looking to get more airlines ordering their 787 fleets and their new Boeing 777X fleets. If they re-engine the 767, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more airlines opt for that 767, taking away from the orders of the new Boeing 777X, which they've spent years and years and years preparing and perfecting. And while I can see a market for the 767, I cannot see Boeing taking the time to re-engine or create a brand new one at this stage. So that's my thoughts. Feel free to leave yours in the comment section below. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video tomorrow as tomorrow is Christmas, so I'd like to take the time now to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas wherever you're from. If you don't like my videos, if you like my videos, if you're just a passerby, I do hope you have a wonderful day. If you don't support Christmas, I do hope you enjoy the festive period and have a very good new year. I should have a new video on Boxing Day, so the 26th of December. There might be a special video tomorrow, but um, it, I'm just going to have to see how I go and if I get the time to make one. Today was a bit of a rush to make it as well, so hopefully it's still a good video. I'm trying to get as much content out as I can from various ideas that you guys have had and I've had, so... 
yeah, subscribe if you're new, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a safe Christmas and peace.